Hey, you mob, my name's Sinead Clements and uh, we're at DC Fit today and I'm here with Dave. Um, Dave, talk us a bit about what we're doing today. Uh, so we've got a couple of our ambassadors here today and we're going to be doing our, our, our session, uh, which is going to be our, our, our one minute, every minute, on the minute challenge today. Yeah, so um, go get your water bottles, go get your towels and, and get ready to get uh, very active. Um, remember to like, share and tag the video and make sure all the mob around the community, um, around Australia know and have that opportunity to get fit at home. And um, yeah, we're going to an ad, so we'll see you back in two minutes. This is the best weapon in your tool belt right now for maintaining control of your overall health. If you have any concerns, simply call your local community control health service for advice. If you're unsure of who to call, visit deadlychoices.com.au for details. So if you feel unwell, please dial ahead, talk to the receptionist, talk to the nurse and the GP, and together we can decide how likely it is that you have COVID-19 and also how unwell you are. And then we can make proper decisions about how to help you best. Hey you mob, we're doing everything we can to protect our community from COVID-19. That's why we've rolled out coronavirus testing clinics across our community. These clinics are now open and ready to protect our community from COVID-19. to do an acknowledgement to country and pay my respects to the tr traditional custodians of the land upon which we meet today and um, pay my respects to elders both past and present. So Dave, it's week seven of DC Fit. Um, what's been the biggest feedback for the last seven weeks and what can we look forward to today? Yeah, uh, so this is our seventh episode and uh, the biggest feedback has, has probably just been uh, the enjoyment that a mob out there um, have got are uh, being uh, I'm able to um, exercise uh, together and then are challenging their friends and their family across the state. Yeah, deadly. And um, we've got uh, Brenton Bowen, I think, at home, and we've got um, one of our DC officers, Tori. Um, and yeah, so we've got a few people at home. And what's the feedback coming from the community of, of working out in your living room? Yeah, um, it's been a bit different. I'm um, obviously uh, with the climate that we're, I'm in today. I'm um, all the gyms are closed. We can't get out as much. So it's uh, some of the, the uh, feedback uh, that we've got, especially f uh, from uh, some of my friends out there, is that they're learning new ways uh, that they don't have to pay money for a gym membership and they can do um, all, um, all these types of exercises uh, from the comfort of their own home uh, where there's no shame and they can get their whole uh, family involved too. Yeah, so you just want to let the mob know at home about um, our ambassadors and the equipment list that we might need for today? Yep, so um, all we need for today is just a chair, a towel and a drink bottle and, and that's all you're going to need and you're good to go. Yeah, Dave, so did you want to give us a bit of an outline on what today's session is going to look yep. like? Yep, uh, so today's our sessions are going to be in a two a 10 minute blocks. Uh, so what we're going to do is it's going to go for a one minute in, in each of those uh, a 10 minute rounds and we're going to do a one exercise. So uh, for example, our first movement is going to be a 30 squats. So if you uh, finish your uh, 30 squats in say uh, 30 seconds, uh, then you get 30 seconds rest. If it takes you 45 seconds to complete the 30 squats, uh, then you get 15 seconds rest. If you work um, all the way um, up to that minute, uh, which is perfectly fine, and then you don't get any rest and you go straight into the next one. If you are starting to battle at home a little bit, i uh, probably stop at about that uh, 50 second mark, I uh, take 10 seconds, I uh, get your breath back and then get back into the next exercise. But it's just about uh, challenging yourself. If you're feeling really fit and really active, and you can do more than the 30 and you can keep going through. Awesome. All right, so where are we looking to feel the burn today? All right, I reckon everywhere is going to be today. So um, all of our sessions are really targeted at like our heart and our lungs to uh, get that uh, fat burning up as well as our legs, our core and our arms. Yeah, so um, did we want to head into the session? I reckon we can probably go um, straight into our warm up first. Uh, so what we're going to do, uh, so the fellas are just going to take us Perfect. Uh, so just before we get started too, guys, all of our exercises are, are always are generic. If you do need any uh, specialist help, uh, make sure uh, you go and have a yarn to your doctors and your allied health professionals as well. If you have any questions or concerns, uh, make sure that you're uh, putting them through to the comments and then we can have a yarn about those as we're going through. If you need to adjust those, um, you guys know your bodies are better than we do. Uh, make those appropriate adjustments and then, we'll, and then we'll see you at the end. 
Yeah, please keep the questions coming. The more questions, the more um, we're able to tailor the exercises to you guys at home and um, we can get our mob looking fit and deadly after, the, after this. Perfect. All right, so let's get started. Uh, so our warm-up's just going to go through and we're just going to start off with our 20 star jumps. Uh, so we've got our Jules, our Jules and Willie here in the studio. Uh, so we're going to do 20 star jumps. Off we go. There we go. Uh, look at this. The boys must have been practicing this one at home. I'm over Skype on Super the weekend because they're in perfect unison yeah. already. <laughs> I think it's all those TikTok moves paying off, actually. This is the five, six, seven, eight counts. That's it. Willie's been getting a bit of good feedback about his dance moves on TikTok, so <laughs> expect nothing less. Uh, that's it. Look at all the Bowens go. Up next, then we've got our five, our, our five jump squats. That's it. So when you're doing these, I'm making sure uh, that you're landing with a bent knee. Uh, we don't want you landing with a straight knee because then you can hurt yourself. That's it. So working through that uh, five, uh, getting down as low as you can and really trying to explode up. Up next, we've got five burpees. Uh, so it's really going to feel that burn in the legs here. Off we go. Oh, who uh, doesn't love a burpee? I mean, <laughs> goodness. A football preseason. <laughs> That's it. Uh, so Willie's going to be doing our level one exercises uh, today and Julian's going to be doing our more advanced level two exercises. Uh, so we're going to have the two choices of our different um, our different levels that we're going to do and there's no reason uh, why you can't uh, mix and match and challenge yourself the best you can. Up next, we've got our 20 second plank. Uh, so Jules is going to be doing his uh, plank on the ground and then Willie's going to be doing it um, up on the chair. So... It, and even if you're a bit fitter than Julian, uh, what you can do um, is you can pop your feet up um, on that chair as well uh, to make it a bit more challenging for yourself. So there's always going to be a couple different levels and then and we'll keep yarning our way yep. through the session there too. Just don't forget to keep breathing through those planks. Uh, <laughs> we don't want anyone passing easily. out. <laughs> <laughs> nah. So the guys are doing really well. So we've got five seconds left in that. As, as you can see there, Willie's got that perfect um, straight back, which is exactly what we want to see. And, and we're done there. And then we're gonna go back into our 20 star jumps again. So we're gonna go through that uh, same routine for the second time. That's it, and the boys are off. Uh, once again, keeping in perfect unison, which is like we wanna see from our professional athletes. We've got some deadly star jumps at home too, I can see some uh, great athleticism. That's it, BB's jumping so high, I can't even see his head on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, Tours is doing great too. Uh, careful, geez, look at all that equipment Tours has got. So yeah, she's going to do well in ISO, I reckon. <laughs> all right, so now we are back to our jump squats. Uh, so trying to keep our chest up nice and high. Uh, really trying to explode up through those legs. As you can see there, Julian put his hands out for a bit of extra balance. And, and now we're down to the five burpees again. That's it. So Willie's using the chair as a bit of assistance here, uh, uh, just to make it a bit easier for him. Uh, so if we do have battles getting down to the ground, uh, making sure we're using a chair like this is really going to help you uh, uh, still get a really tough uh, workout, uh, but then working within your limitations, us uh, so not hurting ourselves. And now we're down to our last uh, 20 second plank, which is good. Uh, so there's a few different ways we can do, uh, do our planks and people always have their... Uh, our preferences uh, but the most important thing is that we're keeping our our hands are directly under our our, our shoulders um if we're using the chair for the plank as we can see there willie's got that nice um, straight line uh, uh, down there with uh, julian his his elbows are directly under his uh, shoulders which is good and then another way we can do that is to even uh, progress a uh, julian up to his hands and once again uh, you want to keep that perfect um straight line as he's doing just there for us uh, so the boys have got five seconds left three two one perfect and so that's the warm-up how are you boys feeling Good, yeah what about the mob out there bb he's ready to go there we go quick sips before uh, before that's we it, get into it that's it look at that full tribe out there that bb's got at his house i think they're just getting ready to jump in the pool afterwards <laughs> all right uh, so for our uh, so for our round one, uh, like we said before, it's going to be a one minute blocks are uh, getting through um, all of the reps and then having a bit of a break until the next minute starts. Uh, so level one, uh, we're going to have a Willie, um, he's going to be doing a 30 half squats and then Julian's going to be doing a 30 full squats. And then, and then our next movement after that is uh, are going to be our, it's our ankle taps there for Willie and then Julian's going to be doing uh, um, his uh, toe touches and the boys will uh, show us as we're going through. After that, we're going to be doing our 10 um, hand release uh, push-ups. Uh, Julian's going to be doing it from his feet, and then Willie's going to be doing it uh, from his knees. Our 30 glute bridges, uh, Julian's going to be doing it uh, single-legged. And then our last exercise is going to be our 30 uh, bench jumps uh, side to side. Okay, so we're going to start off with those uh, squats. So get that timer ready. 
three, two, one, and off we go. That's it. So with the squats, as always, I'm making sure we're keeping our chests up nice and high. Uh, both the fellas here in the studio are keeping their arms out the front, which is going to uh, really assist with your balance. I'm making sure uh, we're taking the weight uh, down through your heels and you're trying to keep the weight off your toes there as well. I'm uh, not letting your knees uh, go past your toes, uh, which is really good as the boys are, as the boys are smashing, uh, smashing through these exercises. If... If you feel like you want a bit more of an extra challenge and you got through 30 super quick, uh, keep going and then give 50 a try. Uh, the, most uh, the most important thing is that you're just doing uh, your best at home, you mob. There you go. Tours are smashing through it. Uh, uh, look at that technique. Absolutely perfect. Their tours, good to see. Are not just a whiz in the kitchen. All right. So we're up to 55, 56, 57. So now we've got our ankle touches here for I'm um, here for Willie, and then Julian's going to be doing his uh, toe touches, which is a bit more of a progression. And off we go. Uh, so Jules is going to be getting his opposite arm. I'm up to his opposite foot here. Uh, so really trying to get uh, get his uh, shoulder blades and his chest up off the ground, uh, keeping his legs raised in the air. And then Willie's just going to be keeping his uh, shoulder blades up off the ground and just rotating from side to side. Uh, so both of these exercises are going to be working our our obliques, and then come to the and then come to round two, I, I reckon they're really going to be burning. So just like you asked, uh, asked before, Sinead, yeah. we're going to feel that burn in the core here, which is really good. Watch these uh, faces change. I think. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Julian will probably still be smiling at the end. That's all I've ever seen him do, that fella. <laughs> all right, so we've got about 15 seconds left. So make sure we're just getting a bit of a rest in. Up next, we've got our push-ups. So Julian's going to be doing his uh, 10 push-ups from his feet. Uh, Willie's going to be doing his uh, 10 push-ups on his knees. Uh, so um, hand release, we're just going to lift our hands up in the air. If you want to make it uh, super challenging, uh, you can take your hands um, all the way up in front of all the way um, up in front of you, or you can just take it a little bit up, and off we go. That's it. Uh, so making sure we're lifting those, those um, hands up, we're keeping that technique exactly the same. So putting your hands back down in exactly the same spot as you started, uh, which is really good. A look at BB, Ab absolutely perfect technique. They got the full tribe out, which is good. <laughs> what is that? Seven, six. I think we've got a uh, five, five, maybe six out people there. there. Wow. And then tours alone, like in the in the best gym in Queensland, I reckon. <laughs> tours. She let us know that the warm up was um, a bit of a burn, so <laughs> good luck for the rest of it, Tori. <laughs> yeah. All right, so make sure you're getting a bit of a a bit of a breather in. Up next, we've got our glute bridges. Uh, so Willie's going to be doing it with uh, both feet and then Jules is going to be doing uh, doing one foot. Uh, so we're going to do a 15 each side. All right, so we've got three seconds to go until that next one starts up. And off we go. There we go. So Jules is going to be doing a five each side. Uh, so after five, he's going to swap, uh, which is really good. And then Willie's just going to continue all the way through his uh, 30. Uh, so as we can see there with with a uh, Julian, uh, we really want to keep those hips nice and level, and and to and to make it a bit more challenging for yourself, a uh, Julian can even uh, cross his hands over his mm -hmm. chest, and then that's going to uh, take away that balance of his arms arms out by his side. What's this working, Dave? Uh, uh, so this one's working your glutes, and and your hamstrings are going to be getting a bit of a burn, as well as your uh, core is going to be working um overdrive because it's keeping you uh, nice and stable. There you go. So Willie's doing really good. He's, he's uh, uh, setting a really good pace there. That's it. So Julian's, I think he's up to his last uh, set of five here, which is good. So he's going to get a good 10 second break uh, before we get um, into, the, um, into the bench jumps. Uh, so Willie's going to be doing a bench, a bench step. Uh, so just uh, stepping from side to side, uh, keeping his body nice and straight, uh, while Julian's going to be jumping, uh, jumping over his mat. All right. So we're off in three, two, one, and off we go. Uh, so as you can see there, uh, Julian's really getting that that uh, side to side uh, jumping, even trying to move his uh, feet back a little bit there. Perfect. Uh, um, if you're doing this one at home, it's probably a good idea uh, just to pop your chair up against the wall. Um, if you've got a kitchen chair or something like that, or you can even do this one uh, just off the couch or the kitchen bench or, or um, any surface which is going to be raised for you. The uh, lower the surface, the, um, harder the, the um, harder the exercise is going to be. Uh, so Julian got through um, his 30 nice and fast and Willie's just behind him. There we go. So we've got about 20 seconds rest before we get our next a bit in. How's Tori doing at home? She's killing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone get a quick sip in while you can. That's it. And what about the mob out there? What about the Bowens? How are they doing? Some good tempo. 
<laughs> and sit. All right. Uh, so we'll. Uh, so we'll get started in a couple seconds. I uh, so back onto the squats. Uh, uh, I will wait for Jules just to have that last bit of drink, and off we go. Down we go, boys. There we go. Uh, so getting our 30 squats in. Uh, so Julian's getting nice and low. Uh, Willie's just doing that um, half squat. Good job. That's it. So keeping that, uh, keeping that uh, momentum, keeping that count going. Uh, keeping the speed nice and constant. Uh, what we want to focus on is that our knees are, aren't wobbling mm -hmm. um, in and out. Uh, when we start to get a bit tired, like our muscles start to fatigue, and that's when our technique um, yep. starts to go a bit funky. Uh, so it's important. Um, if we are starting to wobble or we're starting to battle, uh, we just um, slow down. And you might not get through a full 30, but it's just about you doing the best you can, and that's all we ever ask for here at DC Fit. Absolutely. Any movement is good movement. Exactly. There we go. So the boys finished there with a couple seconds left. And up next, uh, so we're uh, back onto our toe touches and our ankle taps here for the fellas here in the studio. Uh, so Julian's going to work really hard to get those uh, legs up nice and high and to, and to tap his toes with his feet. Uh, Willie's just going to be going uh, side to side there, uh, uh, getting those obliques working. There we go. I reckon we could make a TikTok a video just from the Bowens um, yeah, <laughs> exercising on their pool. Look how good, look how good that looks. Everyone out there doing their exercises. Family goals right there. Look at that. Exactly. Jeez, Tor's working super hard. <laughs> that's it. I'm, I'm everyone's working super hard here at DC Fit, and that's what we ask. I mean, if any of you mob are working super hard at home, I'll make sure you get someone to get a photo. I send it through, and you can go into the a draw to win some of our deadly prizes. Up next, we got our push-ups. So we've got our um, hand release push-ups up next. Uh, so that's just going to be, uh, and off we go. Uh, so getting those hands up nice and high. I reckon Jules can challenging himself and bring those hands up to nice and straight out in front of him. There we go. So that's going to challenge. Uh, so that's going to be our next progression of, of these ones at home. That's our six for the fellas, a seven, and so three to go. Nine. Good, a good technique there, boys. Up next, we've got our glute bridges. Uh, so once again, our Jules is going to be doing it a single leg in groups of five. If you want to get, get a super challenging for yourself, you can go through and you can see if you can do a 15, I'm all in that one, I'm all in that one set, I'm making sure that your um, hips aren't dropping from side to side because it's all about technique uh, rather than just uh, trying to big dog yourself and say you got through 15. Uh, we prefer you got <laughs> through the right technique. All right, so we've got 10 seconds left. Uh, make sure you're getting a, uh, getting a, a good breath in there tours we're going to be watching you on this one i reckon sis so we want perfect technique eh and off we go i think tori's given us a bit of lip from home <laughs> you just keep pushing tori it wouldn't be tori if it wasn't giving us a bit of lip keep the comments guys keep them coming we want some questions our way we can um have a bit more yarn around what we're doing and like Dave said, um, anything you're doing at home, please let us know what, you, what you're up to and uh, you can go on the running to win a comp in some of our competition prizes. That's it. So the boys are up to 20 now, so they've only got 10 to go, which is really good. And all you mob at home, uh, make sure that you're doing your best and that you're, and that you're challenging yourself. So if it's doing five on a single leg and, and then five on the other leg and then doing the last uh, 20 with a double leg, that's okay. It's all about uh, mixing and matching and just getting your best quality in. Some mob at home, they just call that straight up din squeezing, Dave. <laughs> so um, You learn something new, don't go you? Go for it. Like, <laughs> even if you just want to stand there, just do your best. <laughs> exactly right. All right, off we go. Uh, so this is for our, our last one of, of a round one. So really trying to keep that back nice and straight. I trying to keep that um, heart rate up. So this one's a really good exercise because it works the uh, top of your shoulders, works your chest. It also works your glutes and your and your calf muscles as well. It doesn't look that hard, hey Dave. But then when you do it, you're just like, wow, this so is actually something to. That's it. I think there's a difference between <laughs> us sitting here having yeah, a yarn, having yeah, a laugh, yeah. and and some great tempos, great speed. Ab absolutely. Jeez, look at all the bones. I'm surprised they're not tripping <laughs> over each other. A bunch of bunny rabbits out that way. They're going hard, which is good. All right, so now we're going to uh, um, have a bit of a rest, have a bit of a break. Uh, make sure you're, you're uh, wiping down your exercise equipment at the end of the session too, guys, and just uh, getting a bit of a drink in here, uh, setting ourselves up uh, for the next round. 
Uh, so I will just go through and just have a quick yarn about what the exercises are here. Uh, so for level one, uh, so we're going to be having our uh, 30, uh, 30 uh, chair dips with a bent uh, with bent knees, and then level two is going to be doing uh, doing those uh, dips with um, um, straight legs out the front. Our second exercise is going to be uh, trying to go for a plank uh, for a full minute. Uh, so if you if you got to break that up into into two 30 second lots and and then having a quick rest in between, uh, that's perfectly fine. Uh, so level one is going to be doing it. I'm on our knees, or we can also do it uh, doing the plank on the chair uh, like we did in the warm up, and then Julian's going to be doing it uh, with his uh, feet on the ground. Our third exercise um, is going to be like our mountain climbers. Uh, so we can do those on the wall, or we can do their or we can do those are using a chair as well. And then Julian's going to be doing those on the ground. Our fourth exercise is going to be a bear crawl. Uh, so for our guys here in the studio, it's just going to be uh, two movements forward and then two movements back because we're uh, I'm really restricted uh, with our uh, social distancing. Uh, but if you guys have a bit more space at home, I'm uh, just trying to get through uh, 20 movements. I reckon it's probably a good amount there. And and if you really want to challenge yourself, uh, uh, 10 steps forward, uh, 10 steps back, and that's your 20 there, which is really good. And then our last one is just going to be, uh, Willie's going to be standing up doing uh, doing some um, hand slides, which is going to be once again working our obliques. And then uh, Julian's going to be doing a progression of the ankle taps with his uh, feet in the air. Nice. All right. Are you boys ready to go? Yeah. Are tours be ready to go? <laughs> oh, yep. And the <laughs> Bowens? How are we tracking out that way by the pool? Yeah, we get thumbs up. <laughs> nice. Thumbs up. All right. So let's get started. Let's get that timer happening there. And we're going to go. I'm off for our 30 dips. Ready, set, go. There we go. As we can see there with Julian, he's keeping his legs nice and straight. And he's trying to get that bunty as close to the ground <laughs> as he can. There we go. Uh, so Willie... Uh, by Willie having his uh, knees bent, it takes a little bit of the weight um, off the arms and it, and it allows the legs to help out. If your arms are really, pardon me, I'm um, starting to battle, uh, that's perfectly fine and you can start putting a bit more pressure through your legs. Uh, but if you want to challenge yourself, uh, gradually start to walk your feet out. And you can do it with a bent knee uh, with your feet um, halfway out as well. And that's going to be a bit more challenging. So it's all just about uh, getting, the, uh, getting the best out of yourselves and just working as hard as you can. All right, so we've got 15 seconds rest here. All right, uh, before we get, I'm off onto our one minute planks. Uh, so trying to get uh, through the whole minute if you can. Uh, um, if you can't quite make the minute, uh, stop and have a rest. You do the chair. All right, are we ready? Get set, go. It's only one minute, guys, only one minute. Easy for Seems us to say, longer. isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Uh, so we can see there with with a uh, Tori, a perfect technique there. Uh, she's as straight as that uh, barbell just behind her. And we got all the Bowens out there looking good in front of that pool. Everyone's working super hard. Nice. Brenton must have just re-oiled that deck. I reckon it's looking nice. <laughs> uh, uh, right, so we're halfway through that. Uh, as we can see here, I'm um, in the studio. Uh, Julian's got a perfectly straight back, which is good. And then Willie's uh, got that angle. I'm um, all the way down. Uh, but it's nice and straight. Uh, so we want to be focusing on keeping a nice um, straight line between our ankles, uh, through our knees, up into our hips, and then uh, keeping a straight spine um, across into the shoulders. Uh, so uh, 12 seconds to go. Uh, so really keep working there. That's it. So keep digging in. Let's check in on Taurus. Let's make sure that she's still working. Of, of course she is. <laughs> All righty. Up next, we just got our mountain climbers. Okay, uh, so Jules is going to be doing his uh, uh, mountain climbers on the ground and then Willie's going to be doing his uh, mountain climbers on the, on the chair. And, and off we go. As you can see there, uh, Julian uh, is uh, keeping a nice um, straight line uh, with his left knee going up to his left el elbow. A different version of Lee's, um, if you prefer at home, is uh, trying to get your left knee up to your right elbow as well. It's really just personal preference. At the end of the, at the, end of the day, um, as long as Julian's not getting his uh, bunty nice and high up in the air, but he's keeping it down nice and low, uh, that's all we're after. Uh, Willie's working super hard there too. I'm surprised he's not pushing that chair through the wall, <laughs> that fella. All right, so we've got about 10 seconds rest. I'm um, all you mob at home. I'll uh, make sure you keep pushing through. I'm uh, trying to get that... I get that full 30 out. Up next, we got the um, uh, we got the bear crawls. Uh, so the fellas here in the studio are just going to do two movements forward and then two movements back, and off we go. 
Uh, so Julian's going to be doing like a little bit of a push-up movement in there as that extreme progression. Julian or GI? Dave, Julian or GI? Look, I'm not, I'm not going to say anything <laughs> here. It's but up to you, mob at home. Let us know. Julian or GI? That's it. He's starting to get a bit of that Koana, I reckon. <laughs> Now they're all working super hard. Uh, so making sure, um, if you do want to do this one at home and you've got a bit, a bit more space in your living room and you're not trying to social distance with your brothers and, and all that sort of stuff, I'm uh, making sure you're trying to get as far as you can in those uh, 10 movements forward and then those uh, 10 movements back are really trying to get back to that same point because uh, the reverse is always going to be a lot harder than oh, the yeah. forwards way. All right, so we got about a five seconds a breather up until we get onto our, our body slides. I'm here for Willie, so he's going to be standing up nice and straight, uh, working his obliques, and then uh, Julian's going to be laying down on the ground with his uh, feet up in the air, uh, doing his ankle taps. All right, so off we go here. That's it. Uh, so Willie's keeping that um, nice, I'm um, straight back. It's almost like uh, we've just got uh, two big uh, bits of glass, uh, and we've put them uh, to Willie's front and to his back. And he's not allowed to lean forward. He's not allowed to lean back. It's just going side to side. A progression of this one, um, if you do have a, have a bit of weighted equipment at home, yep. um, is just to hold some weights or to hold one of our resistance bands. And then you're actually going to be, be uh, pulling that weight up or pulling that band um, up as you're going as well. Or you can go like Julian on the ground. Um, he's going to be using uh, gravity, but to be able to uh, progress this as well as he's working his way through. I do all those little ankle taps here. Uh, so the boys have finished here and they've got about 10 seconds rest. Oh no, they're still going, sorry. I'm, oh, I miscounted. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I will give him an extra 10 seconds breather, I reckon. Uh, so I'm all you mob at home. I uh, make sure you, you are getting a drink in here if you need. Uh, so that's the end of the first round. So you've got uh, five minutes of exercises to go and then we're done for the day, which is mad. All right, so we're up to our dips again here, you mob. Uh, so Julian, uh, so dips on the chair, uh, knees out nice and straight. Uh, Willie's going to be uh, uh, keeping a little bit of a bend through those knees. I think this one is just always about pushing through that first burn. You get that burn and all you want to do is stop. But mob at home, just keep pushing through. That's it. Yep, uh, good to go. That's it. So I reckon Julian's starting to feel the burn. He's starting to get <laughs> nice and shiny here. He oiled himself up actually before we come onto the camera, ladies and gentlemen. So... <laughs> So that's probably a bit of that a uh, baby oil, a uh, baby, baby oil, oil definitely uh, shining Johnson. through. Johnson, <laughs> Johnson and Johnson. Yeah, brother, you take you take these dips. Oh, I've done the modified ones. <laughs> that's it. As you can see here, are the fellas here in the studio are, are, are sharing the workload between them. Um, so if you got to chop and change between what Willie and what Julian are doing, there's no, uh, there's no shame in that either. Uh, so it's just about uh, challenging yourself. Uh, so we'll get started in about uh, five seconds, and we're onto our plank. So we're just going to go through for a 45 second plank here and off we go. We got a bit of grunting and yelling in the, in the studio it. today. So if you're, <laughs> if you're puffing and struggling at home, don't worry. That's it. So this session was designed to be a bit more challenging, uh, but the beauty of it is, um, is that you can make it, it at, as challenging at, as you need it to be. Um, so if you've got to stop after 15 of something, that's perfectly fine. At, as long as you're being true to yourself and you're giving it your everything. That's it. So look at, I look at the fellas here in the studio. I wonder how the Bowens are going out that way. Just look at that perfect technique. They're, they're the Murray version of the Brady Bunch, I'm sure. Look at them. <laughs> they're just, they're going hard. That's it. And there's the time. Up next, we're on to our, uh, back onto the mountain climbers here. All right, so the boys in the studio are really starting to work <laughs> hard. We've got our last couple, we've got our last 30 mountain climbers here. Two, one, off, off we go. That's it. So Julian's taking over to level one and then Willie's taking over to level two. So the boys are working out, uh, uh, beautifully here as a team. That's it. I'm halfway through. Uh, so getting those knees up to those elbows. I'm uh, getting through as fast as you can. As you can see here in the studio, Willie's keeping his, his uh, bunty down uh, uh, nice and low, which is great. And he's generating um, all that power down through those legs. All right, so we've got 15 seconds a uh, breather before we get onto our bear crawls. Uh, so we've got uh, uh, two minutes left uh, for your exercise here today. Two minutes, uh, 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 give it your absolute everything, and then we can have a bit of a breather, do a bit of a stretch as we cool down as well. All right, so, and the boys are off with their bear crawls now. That's it, 
That's it. So Julian, I think, has put the pin in doing the push-ups. It was a bit too challenging. <laughs> no more GI. Now he's just J. That's it. So keep going. As you can see here, the boys are keeping good technique. Uh, Julian's still keeping those hips down nice and low. Uh, keeping that Goanna going. Uh, Will is absolutely powering through these. Killing it at the back there. That's it. We'd expect nothing less than <laughs> Willie. I did notice before though his shoes don't have shoelaces in it, so I'm not quite sure how he's keeping those shoes on through all, uh, through all of this. It's aerodynamics, Dave. <laughs> I think. I don't know much about that. <laughs> uh, clearly. All right, so the boys are done there. So we've got 15 seconds. A breather before we get on to our, our last one. So we've got our, our side-to-side body slides and our ankle taps. So I'm not quite sure which of the boys are going to do which one here in the studio. Yep, uh, so there's 50 left of these. Uh, so Julian's going to be doing our side-to-side. Our, our -side. And, and off we go. All right, so it's uh, super important now that we're not leaning forward here, Julian. We're keeping our back up nice and straight, and our only movement is just from side to side. So off we go here, Jules. That's it, getting our 50. Uh, so Willie, uh, uh, Willie, uh, Willie's really going to be focusing on uh, keeping his knees and his ankles nice and close together. Uh, by keeping those knees in nice and, clo uh, nice and close, it works your, uh, your deep inner core muscles, and they're the ones which are going to really help us to prevent ourselves getting back pain. So we can see that pace has really dropped off considering uh, compared to the first round, uh, which is a good sign. Um, it means the boys gave it absolutely everything. And then so if you mob at home, if you're not quite going, uh, going through as fast in the second round, uh, that's the way the session's actually designed uh, to be getting uh, progressively harder. There we go. So the boys are up to 40 here in the studio. So we'll give them a little bit of extra time to finish uh, finish this one off, and then we'll have a bit of a stretch. That's it. I wonder how Tours is going out there. So Tours has finished. There we go. Oh, look at that. And the Bowens, how are we tracking out poolside? It's not a bad spot to be left in ISO, is it? Nice work. <laughs> All right. All that mob there are finished. So everyone's huffing and puffing, which is what we want to see. Are we going to jump in the pool after BB? <laughs> <laughs> thumbs up a thumbs up so we'll take that as a positive all right so i reckon what we're going to do i uh, say so make sure i uh, get up you're walking around for a little bit uh, you don't want uh, what it's called um is the uh, lactic acid just be sitting in those muscles i uh, see so you've all given it a uh, one hell of a crack i uh, say so make sure that we're moving around where i'm um, helping our body recover um, i mean if you stop now and just and just uh, sit on the couch all of that lactic acid is just going to sit there in the muscles and you're going to be really sore tomorrow uh, so it's important uh, we get out we walk around and we're going to do a bit of a stretch and then that's going to be our session uh, for today so uh, what we're going to um, start off with, uh, once the boys come back in about a minute's time, I said just going to keep walking around. There we go. I'll make sure we're wiping down where I'm opening um, up our lungs, getting that getting that um, oxygen in there uh, right to the bottom of the lungs. Make sure we're getting a drink as well because uh, it's, it's uh, super important uh, that we're keeping our fluids up. Uh, so the boys here in uh, DC Fit Studios, they've been making sure they've been keeping, uh, keeping their fluids up all day too, I reckon. Dave, how important is the warm down? I mean, we talk about elevating our heart rate and, and, and working out and, and getting a good um, good pump there, but once we relax, how important it is to bring bring our heart rate yep. back down? That's uh, super important. Um, if you don't do a proper cool down, it's uh, quite often after you finish the game of footy, you're sitting around the sheds with the boys or the girls and you're, and you're having a yarn and that sort of stuff, and then you go to get up after half an mm -hmm. hour and it feels like your legs are concrete. Yep. It was like um, half an hour ago, you are running around making tackles, <laughs> scoring tries, you felt on top of the earth, uh, but then as soon as you get up out of that seat, uh, your legs are just like lead mm -hmm. uh, so it's a uh, super important uh, that we are getting that that a uh, cool down in are uh, just like a warm-up a uh, warm-ups and and our cool downs are just as important as the as the main body of the session yep. especially in our um, injury prevention and and our recovery absolutely all right uh, so we're going to uh, um, start off here with a bit of a a bit of a groin stretch uh, so it's going to follow julian's lead here uh, so what we want to do is uh, keeping your back up nice and straight and we're just going to have our have a one foot are pointing out to the front and then Julian's just going to then uh, point his right foot out to the I mean his yeah his right foot I was going to point that out to the wall for us your other right Julian <laughs> you're doing the split <laughs> that's it because of social distancing I'm looking at Julian uh, via on the computer screen so I, I, so I second guess myself when he moved his left but 
I'm glad it was him uh, rather than me <laughs> that was turning a little bit Womba. I uh, say so with all our stretches, we want to hold it for at least that a uh, 30 seconds, and really trying to get to like a bit, uh, get to a bit of discomfort. Uh, we never want our stretching to be painful though. Um, if our stretching is painful, then we're probably doing it wrong, and we can actually be damaging our muscle fibers. All right, so changing over sides. Uh, so this time, uh, Julian's going to be pointing his uh, left foot out to the wall, and the right foot's going to be pointing, uh, pointing forward. There you go. That's it. So uh, keeping his his uh, chest up nice and straight. I mean, if, if the boys here in the studio are, are, are start leaning forward, uh, what's actually going to happen is that the uh, um, hip flexors are going to uh, tighten up and we're not going to be getting a good um, stretch uh, down through that groin. Uh, so it's not just about the legs, it's about your core position as well that's mm -hmm. uh, super important with this one. That's it. So we're, I'm onto a hamstring next, is it, uh, Jules? Yep, I'm doing the hamstring. I had to double check that one. Uh, so Julian's done his his uh, cert three and his uh, and his um cert four. Uh, so if you want to train with Julian, uh, Julian's going to be delivering <laughs> our a DC fit program out in the Ipswich region. Uh, so as soon as we can start getting back out, I mean community, the the a uh, Cambu uh, DC team are going to be uh, delivering our DC fit program. Uh, so make sure you you uh, yarn up with uh, Shakira, uh, 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 Sian, a uh, Julian, a uh, Kerry as well as well as Kieran and then and they'll be able to uh, give you a few more of the details once we start that program back all right so with this hamstring stretch it's a uh, super important uh, that we can even if we can lean forward through the hips a little bit more that's going to help um stretch that hamstring because uh, the hamstring goes over two joints goes over our knees and goes over our hips uh, so we want to have that knee i'm um, in this position nice and straight and then uh, bending the hips forward and that's really going to start to get a bit of that um, hamstring stretch there also does a bit of work on our um, sciatic nerve as well, mm -hmm. which, uh, which can become a bit tight. All right, up next, uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing our lower back. Um, is the call here from Willie. I uh, said so Willie's just going to show us how to stretch our lower back. So he's going to be laying on his back and then uh, tilting over to one side. And the leg which is on the top is going to bend up into that uh, 90 degree at the hip and 90 degree at the knees. And he's just going to fall over the other side. And that's going to get a bit of a stretch uh, down through our obliques are uh, through our hamstrings and through our glutes as well as well as 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 our back muscles too uh, so it's a uh, super important uh, that we stretch all all of our muscles after a hard workout because uh, you don't want any of that uh, uh, pesky um, lactic acid to be mm -hmm. sitting there and so that's why when you wake up after playing a game of footy or basketball or especially after your first training session back in a uh, back in pre-season you wake up the next morning and you feel like you can't even get out of bed oh yeah I think this is my first stretch as I roll out of bed, literally just fall on the floor and jump into that stretch. <laughs> That's it. Make sure you've got some padding if you've yeah. fallen out of bed there. Bring a pillow. <laughs> That's it. So as you can see here in the studio, the boys are actually um, helping that leg over by pulling it down with that arm, which is going to be increasing that um, stretch. Uh, uh, so by by uh, bringing your knee up a uh, further um, up to your chest is going to increase that stretch, and then also um, if you kick that foot out as well, that also increases the the um, stretch you got going down through there. All right, so we're going to do our glutes. I think was the call here. Oh, another quad, quads. sorry, quads. There we go. Uh, so there's two different ways we can do our our, our quad stretch. Uh, so Willie's going to be standing up here, and what we want to see here, Willie, uh, um, is it, is a Willie keeping his knees nice and close uh, together, uh, which is perfect. And then as you can see, uh, I'm here with uh, Julian uh, kneeling down on the ground, uh, uh, tucking that foot up behind you as well, um, is another way we can um, stretch that. Uh, so if Julian was to lean back a bit, uh, that would start to increase that that uh, quad stretch. Uh, so leaning back in the other direction, I reckon. So if he takes that, that uh, shoulder back as he goes down, uh, you start to feel a bit more of that, that quad happening and then changing over. Uh, so we want to stretch for at least 30 seconds on each side. Uh, so the muscle takes about uh, 20 seconds uh, for it to start to relax. Uh, so the first uh, 20 seconds um, of your stretch is just preparation, and then you get the real benefit uh, from that uh, 20 seconds uh, through to that 30 seconds. Uh, so that's why it starts to feel a bit more uncomfortable in that last 30 seconds, because our tiny little muscle fibers are starting to scream mm -hmm. as they're starting to release and the muscle starts to lengthen. So like we said before, um, stretching should be uncomfortable, uh, but not painful. All right, so changing over. So what are we going to do next, fellas? All right, so we're, I'm onto our glute stretch. As, 
as you can tell, like our session today was was a really leg heavy. Uh, so the boys are really focusing on their lower body for their stretching here. Uh, so there's a couple different ways uh, that we can um, stretch the glutes. Uh, so Julian's are kind of doing like a bit of a spider version of this one where he's, he's, he's uh, tucked his ankle up, up behind his opposite knee and then he's bringing his uh, chest down towards that knee. Uh, um, you can also do this one uh, laying down on the ground and you're going to be uh, bringing your leg uh, back towards you and you can even do it as, a, as another version uh, when you're sitting down um, on a seat and then you're going to be leaning forward with that uh, leg tucked up. And then, Willie's got a, and then Willie's got a fourth version of it as well uh, where he's going to be... Uh, almost are laying down on the ground uh, with uh, with his one uh, uh, leg uh, pinned up underneath him. Uh, so making sure uh, we've got that knee um, in a comfortable position and then our leg and our foot are kicked out, out to the side there as well. Uh, so, uh, so holding this for that uh, 30 seconds. Uh, so 30 seconds is our gold standard uh, for our muscle stretches uh, through all of these. All right, so that's our last one. And then I reckon we might just do, I just do a tricep stretch next, eh, fellas? So we might just, I stand up nice and tall and just, and just I pop your arms, arms up behind your head. As you can see there, Julian's got that. And then Willie's going to be doing a bit of supported one, I'm on the chair. And this will probably be our last uh, stretch for today, I reckon. All, all you mob at home, uh, you've worked us super hard. I uh, so remember, um, if you've got any photos, yep. or you've got any um, other comments, or where you want to, I tag your friends, I tag your cousins in it. I start challenging your, um, your community mm -hmm. to really put in and to be doing these um, sessions as well. As they're on Facebook, are they going to be um, up there forever? Uh, so making sure, um, if you really liked it, you can come back in in a couple of days and you can do the session again as well. I think that's the best thing about this session is the more you do it, the better you get at it. Mm. And you can see that progression really easily. Absolutely. Um, it's all about just uh, challenging yourself. It's not about keeping up with the fellas here or keeping up with, uh, with the 50 Bowens we had down uh, poolside. <laughs> but it's just about uh, doing the best that you personally can. And then when you come back, and we're going to do these uh, sessions again a bit later on, and then hopefully uh, they'll become a bit easier and then we'll make the sessions a bit harder. All right. I reckon that's pretty much that's us done for the day. Um, all you guys have a deadly week and we'll see you soon. Yes, yeah, th thanks guys. Keep an eye on our Deadly Choices page for all the um, deadly tips and activities coming up.